The machine performing this operation is the result of a multi-year development and field testing program at Cincinnati Millicron. The machine, commonly called an industrial robot or arm, is based on the concept of flexible automation. That is, one machine having the capability of automating a number of different operations or applications. Its potential uses are almost too numerous to mention. Whether welding, material handling, machine loading, or one of a multitude of other applications, the machine performs with clock-like efficiency, keeping your productivity at a constant high level. It is our hope that during the next few minutes we can demonstrate to you what we believe, that the 6CH arm is the most reliable, most flexible, and most advanced industrial robot available today. The 6CH arm is unique, unique in concept, in design, and in control. The jointed arm construction offers the greatest possible range for arm size, over 1,000 cubic feet of working volume from a six square foot base. You can work from the floor as well as reach 13 feet into the air. The arm is capable of lifting loads as high as 175 pounds and moving them at speeds up to 50 inches per second. The arm moves in a straight line between any two programmed points, thus assuring the desired motion in any movement. Each of the jointed arm axes is directly driven by its own electro-hydraulic servo system. Five axes use rotary actuators built into the arm's rotary joints. One axis uses a pivoted cylinder. Only seven moving power elements make up the entire jointed arm design. The arm was designed to give the ultimate in flexibility and reliability. The control is a CNC mini computer control. The control is equipped with a CRT display as an aid in teaching and displaying diagnostic messages and a tape reader and punch for in and outputting hard copies of taught programs. Over the years, many developments have led the way to a high degree of automation in the metalworking industries. Transfer machines, NC machinery, tool changers have all played an important role in increasing the productivity of these operations. However, until now, all attempts to automate the part loading and unloading operations have required special machinery, heavily tied to the specific machine and part to be handled. As is demonstrated, the 6CH arm completely eliminates these restrictions. Here the arm has been interfaced with two machines, a grinder shown on the right and a simulated grinder on the left. It is handling two different parts, an automobile axle and a pinion gear for an automotive transmission. Although only two machines are shown, as many machines could be added as space permits, thus potentially forming a completely automated manufacturing cell. The load and unload cycle time compares very favorably with special purpose loaders. It takes only five seconds once the grind cycle has finished before a new cycle can begin. Programming the arm can be done in a matter of minutes. Only 36 points were needed to program the loading and unloading operation for both machine tools. The computer control of the arm has been interfaced with the machine tools to operate on a demand basis, thus optimizing the operation even though the parts may have different cycle times. This also means that if one of the part feeders runs out of parts, the arm will automatically continue to operate the other machine tool if the process so requires. As evidenced here, the programmability of the arm leads to a number of advantages. The part presentation fixtures can be very simple and can be located in any position within the range of the arm. Simple and reliable single or multiple grippers which will accommodate a variety of part sizes can be used and gauging or other types of auxiliary operations can easily be added to the cycle. Most machinery is designed to be loaded in a horizontal or slightly vertical direction. 
Many times splash guards or other obstacles must be avoided during the operation. The jointed arm concept with the straight line motion between programmed points makes establishing the proper path an easy matter. Although many people think of an industrial robot as a pick and place mechanism, they can, with a little ingenuity and minimum amount of tooling, be made to do many other things. This application is an example of just such a situation. The wire harnesses for our NC controls are made by hand. A worker, working from a wiring layout, manually strings the wires along a predetermined path to a fixture, thus generating the harness. Here we have taught the robot to do the same thing. With simple tooling resembling a fishing reel, the robot rapidly strings the wires from point to point along their proper paths in the fixture. This is an excellent example of the straight line motion by the robot. The speeds at which the wire is being strung are 50 inches per second on the long moves and 5 inches per second on the short moves. Notice that the wire is accurately placed in specific slots in the fixture. These slots are only 15 hundredths of an inch apart, giving you some idea of the accuracy needed for this particular application. A time study showed that on an eight hour shift, the robot could perform roughly three to four times as fast as a skilled worker. Teaching the 6EH arm is fast, easy, and direct. No computer experience is needed, no calculations are involved. Just a knowledge of the physical job the arm is to perform. The teaching tools consist of the handheld teach unit for leading the arm through the desired motions, and a CRT and keyboard for inputting and displaying the needed data. To teach the robot, the operator simply picks up the lightweight handheld teach unit, walks to the most convenient, safe, and strategic job viewing location, and leads the robot through the desired sequence of actions. This is easily done in space, left or right, in or out, using at will either cylindrical or rectilinear coordinate motion. Note that the computer control coordinates multiple axes to generate these motions. Once the desired point is reached, it is entered into the control memory by pushing the program button. The velocity associated with the point and the function to be performed are entered via the keyboard. Using the replay mode, an instant replay can be obtained to verify the straight line path between points and the functions and velocities associated with these points. Other points can be added and deleted at will. Once the program has been completed, a hard copy in the form of a punch tape can be obtained automatically, utilizing the tape punch. If during teaching a programming error is made, a coded message will be displayed on the CRT identifying the error and suggesting corrective action. Once the operator is satisfied with his program, the arm is placed in the automatic mode and the program will be repeated exactly as taught for as long as desired. There are many installations in industry where work must be done on parts while they are in motion. The assembly lines of the automotive and appliance industries are prime examples. The simulation shown here is representative of this type of work. A part moving down an assembly line requires a number of spot welds. As can be seen, with the tracking option, the CH arm can easily accomplish this task. As the part or pallet moves down the line, a series of limit switches identify what the part is and its position on the line. Up to 15 different parts or models can be handled by this option. Once the initial position has been established, a sensor which is monitoring the part will begin updating the computer as to the position and velocity of the part as it moves in front of the arm. These positions and velocities are automatically superimposed on the previously taught welding program, thus zero shifting the entire program as the part moves down the line. The advantage of this technique is greatly simplified programming. The computer will automatically take care of the difference between the position of the parts when the points were taught and the position in which they will be executed in the automatic mode. 
In the automatic mode, the line can speed up, slow down, reverse, or even stop, and the welds will still be made in the same positions as they were originally programmed. It is possible that some operations cannot be performed until a part is in a given position relative to the arm. This information can also be stored in the computer, thus assuring that the part and the arm are in the proper relative positions when the operation takes place. There are many other uses for this feature. Parts coming down a line can be removed, inspected, placed back on the line if correct, or sent to another area if faulty. With the introduction of the 6CH, Cincinnati Millicron has further advanced the state of the art in industrial robot development. We welcome the opportunity to demonstrate how Cincinnati Millicron 6CH can improve your productivity and profitability. <laughs>